We found a lot of support for the idea because it instantly improved communication across the ward. It meant that our medical teams and MDT were involved in decision making and problem solving for our patients and for the care that we were providing. And it meant that the nurses could get things changed and done instantly. This whole process has helped me to understand the hospital system and what is happening in the ward. Feeling confident that you can get the important messages to your whole team um, was always a, a worry of mine and this has really taken that worry away from me because I know we're talking every day about the issues, they're raising issues that they're worried about. I think the benefit for us is that orthopaedics as a service has managed to cope with the increasing elective volumes that, we've, that have been expected of us you know, year on year and I don't think that we would actually be in such a favourable position if we, if we weren't um, having a mechanism where every week we were actually looking at how we were doing. From a leadership team perspective, the management operating system was fundamentally introduced to address a lack of alignment in the organisation. We had significant gaps in the connections between our organisational strategy through our directorates and services down to our wards and frontline staff, which led to a lack of focus on our key issues and strategies. And although we had a lot of effort going into improvement activities, that wasn't necessarily consistent or aligned. We were awash with data, but we're information poor, and what data we did have wasn't standardised and wasn't formatted to be information for action. Formats for meetings, performance measurement, improvement activities, projects, etc. weren't consistent and because of that we had a tendency to be reactionary in our approach because we just didn't have effective channels for decision making. We needed a way to ensure alignment and importantly a clear line of sight from our organisational strategy all the way to our front line so we could be sure we were all pulling in the same direction. A management operating system helps us focus on both uh, operational and strategic priorities and it does this by engaging staff across the organisation um, and aligning around some of our key result areas. The ultimate goal is that wherever you go in the organisation you can understand how they're doing today, what they're focusing on and what activities they're planning in the future and how this fits in with our organisational priorities. This would be a familiar format and provides transparency so you, at a glance you can understand where the team is at. Strategy deployment starts with translating a directorate's or services strategy into each of the five key result areas. This is done using a one-page plan or A3. The plan tells the story of why this is important, where we are today, where we want to be, and what actions we will take to get there. The immediate actions are then shown in further detail in their 180 day plan. Once actions are underway, project summaries are kept up to date. And this encourages the team to be clear and concise about what they focus on and provides a way to communicate this to the wider team. A scorecard summarises key measures to show how a service or directorate is performing each month. From this, the team identifies a handful of key target areas to review in more detail or on a more regular basis. These are commonly areas the team is looking to improve or that require close monitoring. The management operating system defines the meetings and forums to bring the right people together to review their projects and their key performance targets to help make decisions and drive action. In these forums, general issues, risks and positive stories are also raised and countermeasures are agreed and assigned. The outcome of this are more focused and productive meetings with a bias for action. Outputs are often visually displayed to communicate with others who did not attend the meeting. To ensure that the management operating system works effectively and outputs are followed through, clear roles and accountabilities are defined. Regular activities can be defined as standard work to ensure that these are built into daily and weekly routines. Throughout the whole process, improvement activities are identified. The management operating system provides a framework to capture, prioritise and progress these through the most appropriate channels. 
So it's allowed troubleshooting of little problems. It's allowed people to then see that they can raise an issue and it's then um, um, uh, the approach is taken of, well, you know, what's your concern? Um, what's the cause of that? And then what are we going to do about it? So the whole sort of philosophy is um, concern, cause, countermeasure. Um, and it closes the loop. And I think the reason why it works really nicely uh, on the ward is because you can see that. Over time, what's actually happened is they've, you know, people are actually looking at these things and becoming much more aware of what's going on and how we're being measured and how we're doing. So I think this is a very good idea of putting it down here and then, you know, Katie as our charge nurse helps us to sort it out. That really, for me, it's, it's better and it saves time because I know where to go to look for this information. I know it's being regularly updated. One of the benefits of the Moss um, Board and Cancer and Blood over the last few years has been there's been quite a lot of change uh, in the service. Um, there's been a lot of uh, people coming and going, and the Moss Board has provided a constant uh, vehicle for us to always be able to focus on what's important, what matters to us, where our direction uh, sits, and, and why we can carry on that way. And so it's, it's enabled the service to continue. It's enabled us to continue to provide the quality care that we uh, we pride ourselves on. The other benefit of the Moss Board has been uh, by the development of the 180 day plans, it's really given us an opportunity to, to refocus on what our goals are. I think for me the benefit has been that the team is driving this and that the team are coming up with the issues and coming up with the solutions and they're in a lot of ways using my voice to, to talk them through um, in the daily Moss meeting but they're their ideas, their issues, their risks and their solutions. Um, I think it's very easy to believe that you're doing the best that you can and that you can't improve uh, at all if you don't measure and analyse your performance. And it's only through measuring and analysing your performance that you find that there are myriad different ways that you can improve things. So, and if you can improve your own service, then that's good for your service. It creates a lot of energy, but also uh, it's good for ADHD as well.